Atawale claims that the reason why he made um, the post that started all this was because he felt that some prophets and men of God were not um, being taken to the gallows. The law was just not handling them well in a way they made all those prophecies, etc. Of course, it made the IGP, that's when the last Christmas and, yeah. and subsequent this one as well, try to put in some um, breakers in terms of that. What Shatawali did, was it necessary at all to trigger and subsequently his arrest? <laughs> When it comes to Chateau, you have to be careful what you say, huh? <laughs> but I, I just, I just think that I, there was a big lesson in all of this, uh, for from Chateauale to medical, and that was, you know, the, the the use of social media and the fact that it can be for your good and it can be for your doom. And sometimes people just underestimate the reach of social media, and so. Uh, people take things for granted, thinking that they can just go out there and say anything. But I think that that, that was the time where, if I remember right, the Ghana police were on a roll. Like, yeah. every small thing, they would just arrest you or, you know, the if you're the screeching whole, on the road, they yeah, just, yeah. 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 I, I they mean, arrested somebody who was doing some like, picture on the road and all that, yeah. So I just think it was, maybe the timing too didn't help. It was at a time where they were very hot, looking for things to just set examples. But... I don't think it was necessary. A lot of things that happen on social media are not are not necessary. And there's always that option of going private. If you have an issue with someone, you can always contact yeah. someone if you have information. Maybe it goes with your character as well. For your temperament, so it's cool. But Charlie, some people love the controversial stuff. Isn't yeah, it? I mean, yeah. And Shatter is one of them. Medical for, is one of them. For artists, sometimes, yeah. Especially when they've been out of the system for a while and people are not talking about them like they do want. Maybe sometimes it helps with their brand image, even though it may not be the best of stories being written about them, but their names are still out there. Uh, but I think it was a deterrent uh, that, you know, Ghana is not that free because there had been that perception that you can always do stuff in Ghana and get away with it. And for medicals, and I think he posted a picture of a farm or something of that sort. And uh, he ended up being remanded and all that. So I think it was a good example and a good lesson that not everything is so free down here. And I hope that they they remain consistent with it. And it wasn't just in that whole buzz that, you know, the Ghana police service were in at that time. Mm. And you, you, you made a video about it. Yeah. <laughs> you made a whole content about it. Yeah. And it drew a lot of um, social media reaction. Anything from the team of Shutter as well. But Shutter seemed to have a whole following. Mm. It's very difficult going against him. Mm. It's not only him, but, but, but you go against his people. Yeah. And did he gain out of this or did he not? He gained. Are you see, you see. Me, I don't look at the other side, whether it was good or bad or whatever. But at the end of the day, he got the police to be involved in some of these things. Like the, prophecy? Yes. These prophets, these men of God in court, you, you, there are some prophecies that you... Why do you say in court? I mean... The men of God. <laughs> I don't want to go there. My mom is watching. <laughs> Punish me for it. Yeah. But at the, at the end of the day, you can't just put out some prophecies just to cause fear and panic, intimidate people. All the prophecies, oh, this one is going to die. This one is going to get accident. If you come and prophesy about me that I'm going to get accident, do you know how that is going to, I mean, wet me up? They don't factor into consideration any of these things. They just put it out there like that. And you see what Shatawale and Medical did there. They, they, they effected some sort of change. Right now, on 31st night, Dan Paru will issue a statement that, yes, you can prophesy. Oh, Easter. Yes, do it within the confines. If you like, go. Go and do it. You see, that, right now, people are being calculated. People are prophesying using terms like Kumofia, <laughs> Republic of Mempem, because they don't want to be direct with whatever they want to do. You understand? So, at the end of the day, they achieved something. Some, something was birthed out of this. Also, um, this arrest and whatever um, birthed the Freedom Wave concert. That is how come they fill the stadium. Shatawale is the voice of the streets, whether you like it or not. He is that guy. He has the voice of the streets. They listen to him. And so at the end of the day, yes, at the end of the day, this was beneficial to him.
he he bevved the con a concert out of this. He went the first one, he filled at Crossport Stadium. The second one, he filled at Crossport Stadium. He effected a change. Right now, uh, prophets and men oh, of God are being cautious. Uh, yeah, I love Shatta Wale though. Yeah. Uh, but they said because he charged with the Ghana city, so. Even if he charged, that was yeah. But even course. if he charged one city, yeah. it is people have tried. They couldn't. Do you know how, what it takes to forty thousand people to the stadium? Even if they are paying one city, their time they inside. People stood on their on their, their money. Their money to take transport. Sir. Exactly. People they, people stand up for like the whole from from eight to the next morning at six a.m. He was performing. That is Shatawali for you. You can't take that away from him. So me, dear, whatever uh, the outcome of um, the, the arrest, the ar it was beneficial brand. to them. See, Shatawali can't go wrong. Even if he goes wrong, there is going to be... That is why he said, that is why, why he says, uh, in, 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 in every disgrace, there is grace. That's what Shatawali said. In every disgrace, there is grace. And that is what he did. Mm. After that, he came out with an album. And we've been joined by uh, Sana Kwashi. Sana Kwashi is... Um, boss for media general digital but also plays in the space uh, he's always monitoring the trends uh, as far as the digital space and what the artists do etc um he, he got um, one of my favorite songs for 2022 trending is it uh, on god right and then subsequently climaxed with this uh, big concert at the crossport stadium and when Shatta and his partner, or AMG, they, they do all this, do they, do they do it purposely? Is it deliberate? Or it's just part of the character of who they are? I think when you look at Shatta, well, most people seem to forget that he has come from, he's rebranded himself from what he used to be, right? Most people seem to forget this is the same man that was one time bandana. Yes. So there's a sort of uh, deliberate and intentionality in everything he does. When he came back, uh, he literally brought himself back to life and formed a new cohort of supporters by rebranding himself. And he found that there was a sort of love, uh, I wouldn't say like a, a sort of like cult following of his people. The whole Shata uh, Ami, how do they call themselves? SM. SM. The SM Ami. Yeah, SM, right? SM, Ami. The, SM for the, life. The SM movement. And it's a very strong movement and there are people that usually would dismiss at our like, oh, you know, these are his antics and things like that. But when I go on social, when I see my friends, when I see my mates, when I see people who I even, who I look up to, really strong SM movement people, you know that there's yeah, some like sort of me. intention. Yeah, I love too. Exactly. There's some sort of intentionality behind what he does. And it's so beautifully done because it's easy for you to just say, oh, it's just Shatawale. But it gets him the results. It's the reason why he is going to be able to fill up the stadiums. He's going to be able to, you know, really get things done. And I think he's even leveraging uh, on that popularity and that growth in different ways. He has this chassis and other things that he's doing. So I would say, yes, there's some intentionality. So now, there's a question Shatawale. I've always wanted to ask. The gentleman, when I monitor him, he lives in East Legon. <laughs> He shows all these upstate apartments, and he said he's a man of the streets. He's a man of the one who takes small uh, row of wheat, or let's say the hustler in Agobloshi, or somewhere else in, in Kumasi, or Tamale, or something. And my, how is he able to connect he, where, what he's achieved, where, where he is currently with the people on the streets? How, how is he able to do that? I think... It's, it's, again, tapping into that whole aspirational need, right? So the only positions himself as, I've been able to make it so you can make it. And that's a lovely story to tell. And most people who go back and look into him can see that, okay, he has come from somewhere. He didn't, he, he, most people also just see the Shatawali part, they like, okay, he just appeared from nowhere. But they don't realize that there were years and years of work done as Bandana, and it's just this new audience, this new generation that knows him strongly only as Shatawali. So people look at that, and he's, again, feeding that into them. You know, I started from here, and you can make it. And he has this sort of, um, let's rebel attitude. Mm -hmm. And rebels are always, yeah. uh, always uh, loved, loved yeah. by the masses, and we have a lot of the masses here. Arab Spring. <laughs> Let's not talk about Arab Spring. <laughs> but but when you look at it, the one percent and we, even the ten percent in Ghana is very small. Mm. The rest, 80, 20, 90 percent, sorry, 80, 90 percent mm. are very huge. And Chetawali is forming a strong appeal. Yeah, to those and, people. and, and, and he's not like from a poor background. He always tends to paint this uh, grass to grace story, but he's really not from a poor background. He he mentions his years in Nima and lived there. But 
is because he took a dive from his background <laughs> and decided to go and live there and and hone his craft. Yeah. He was not successful. At the end of the day, um, is he somebody that, if you look at the current um, brand of artists, need to study? Who has transitioned generations? He was a mate of uh, Samini. Yeah. And I will not say Samini is not relevant. Samini is an all-time generation, generational relevant person. But you look at somebody who will be always invoke it is Shatawali. Why is he able to do that? Trans transition generations. <laughs> That's a difficult one. Uh, but I think the thing with longevity is that you, you need to have something to hold on to. Whether it's your fan base, whether it's your vision, whether it's your belief. But I think these core values are usually what tends to fuel that ability to be able to rehash your content or make sure that you stay relevant. And for me, what Shatawale does is that he's one of the few, you know, artists who appreciates his fans and he understands that, you know, these are the people who are there for him. And so I think whenever he comes to a media house, you can see people gather outside and he doesn't, you know, there are people who treat fans as fans and would just bulldoze their way through, you know, wave a few. You no, know, Shatawale would interact with their fans and we will throw money. People know that they'll come and get breakfast money whenever Shatawale is around. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, it's, it's those tiny, tiny things that I think that has made his fan base so, so loyal that he knows that even if he does a song that is not so great, he has a core fan base that would receive it, would hype it, and would still push the brand out there. So I can't put my finger on what exactly it is that has sustained and made him so you know, relevant over a long spell of time when it comes to his music career. But I definitely think that his fan base have really played a crucial role in that.